Hello everyone, this is Amy. If you've never been here before, this is my April Project Use It Up video. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I only have about 30 minutes-ish to get it all done. So I'm like really hot. I just turned the um, air on and I have a sweatshirt on so that don't really help, but I work half days on Fridays and I'm just for some reason really hot. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just jump in. I'm going to go ahead and start with my first empty, which is this um, lip product from e.l.f. Um, and it's in the shade Power Mauve. Um, it's like a, um, here's what it looks like here, but um, it's like a, it's supposed to be a tint. So it's gone, like it's not pulling out any product. I might try to see if I can get this out because I bet there is still some in there. So here is what it looks like now. I had some other lip stuff on at work, but if I... Like there's not, there's not really any left at all, but, um, so that's like what it looks like now, which is fine, but this will not stay on very long now. When I first got it, um, it was like darker, probably like a closer to a more red color than mauve. Um, and then, but once the gloss wore off, it was a really pretty stain. And then there is a, oh no, I don't have it in here. But I have another lip product that I would wear over it, like a um, uh, Buxom Lips product, I think in Claire, um, that I wore over it. And I actually look really pretty. There's a girl I work with that really liked it. But I might try to get that stopper out. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I really like that, but I feel like they're kind of pricey. I mean, it literally lasted two weeks tops. So, and then I have another one, the pinky one, or I think it's called. Um, it's pretty too, but... Um, yeah, I don't feel like that one stains my lips as good as this one did. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start trucking along because I'm, like I said, in a hurry. Okay, so we got through some, looks like there's a couple maybe stuck in there. Um, we got through some Downy Unstoppables. This is the only one I've ever tried in it. Yeah, there's a couple in there. I'm going to throw those in my wash. Um, anyway, I really like this. It's a nice, fresh scent. So that would be a repurchase. Um, we got through some Ollie's Woman's Vitamin. I'm actually, I think, I don't know if it's Centrum. I have a different brand now because my daughter likes the, um, my daughter does not like the taste of these ones. I really do. These kind of remind me a little bit of vitamin gummies from when I was a kid. Um, but I have another one, or she wanted me to pick up a teen one, and I saw the teen one. Well, then right next to it, it was woman's, and I didn't realize that, and it was, I think, cheaper, like, on sale or something at Target. And so I picked that one up. Like, I think it was a little bit bigger bottle. So I just thought that it was the bigger bottle on sale, and then I got home and realized that it was a woman's one. And she's just being a teen, and um, it's like, no, I don't want that. So... Anyway, um, I've been, I'm using those now, but I would repurchase this one. Ooh, that's loud. That's going to probably be loud. Okay, so this is kind of like a carryover from March. I purchased this like mid-month in March, so we just kind of finished this. This is really nice. I think my daughter really liked it. Um, so this would be a repurchase. I really like these Dr. Teal's sugar scrubs. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got through a Fallen Bloom. And I'm going to make sure I start showing the inside because I never do. Um, and the notes on this are Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. So I will say that I don't think I'll repurchase this in any type of moisturizer form, but I do like it in a spray. Um, like I like both, but I don't know. I just like it better in the spray for some reason than this. And I only had one of these, so done with that. Okay, so got through this L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free, I don't know, um, shampoo and conditioner. So I think what really got me on this is the packaging because it's just so pretty. It doesn't really match all the way, but really pretty. However, this will not be a repurchase from me because um, I don't like the scent of it. I mean... I just, I don't know what it is, but I do not like the scent. And this scent will linger in your hair. So, yeah. Better purchase. Uh, okay, so we got through a Walmart 
um, Scent Theory Springtime Dreams Hand Soap, which is Fresh Picked Daisies, Sugar Apricot, and Sugar Crystals. That was good. That would be a repurchase. We got through an Act mouthwash, and I always purchase the mint one. This is a repurchase. Um, ooh, this reminds me. I need to purchase some of this. Um, so some Dawn dish soap, always a repurchase. A Dove deodorant in the Beauty Finish pink one here. It was fine. I could repurchase it, or I would. Um, okay, so these I am just decluttering. Might have, might figure out where to put these at. But I do really like the um, lid here. Um, I got these at TJ Maxx for $4.99, and I just don't think that they're good. Um, I took them, and they made like a really metallic taste in my mouth, and they don't smell good anymore, and I, it just makes me nervous. So I'm just going to be done with those, and I need to pick up a new probiotic. Um, okay, so this Monate uh, Finish Control Hairspray I bought in January of 2020. It's now 2024. So had this four years, finally done, good riddance, would not repurchase. I have another hairspray now that I use. So let's see. I'm going to talk so much my mouth gets dry here. Um, Plus, I've been running around and I'm already really hot. Okay, so another Act mouthwash, rip purchase. Um, oh my, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this smells good. Okay, so oh, it just smells really good. Um, so we have some Snuggle um, dryer sheets. I started using these when I was pregnant with my daughter. She turned 17 this month, so. Um, for 18 years, I have been using Snuggle, and just recently I bought a box of Bounce. So, yeah, trying a different one. Just felt like trying a different one there. Okay, so on this, this is where my line was, and finish that all the way up. And this is Kaleidoscope. Um, it says design with you in mind to amplify your one of a kind personality and magnify your, your um, iridescent vibe. And the keynotes are iris, cedarwood, clean musk, and pink pepper. And I have a ton of these, so just trying to use these up. Um, okay, so this is actually from March. I forgot, I think, to put it in there. Um, so it is the Amazon Rain Washer Riffs, Whiffs, and honestly, I didn't really notice the smell of that one on my clothes. I feel like they have to be pretty strong to, um, notice that. Okay, so got through a face wash and the Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Face Cleanser. I purchased this before in, I think, 2020, um, and then it, like, went bad in the shower, and I just used it to wash my armpits to use it up. Um, this time, somebody in my family flew through this. Like, I used it the other day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, like, empty. So, I don't know, may or may not repurchase it. Um, okay, so I got through a primer from Smashbox, which is the Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer. So, not this. So, February of 2023 um, is when I purchased this at one of the Ulta Beauty sales or 21 Days of Beauty. Um, so I think it was 50% off. Um, it was okay. I actually think that I meant to just buy their regular primer and accidentally purchase this one. This is very, very glowy. But I just feel like a lot of times with these, once I put my makeup over the top, they don't always show through. So I don't know. I don't think I would like that. But this does say that it has um, vitamin C in it. So that's kind of nice. There's that. And let's see. I got so many random things in here. Um, this was in my car. Smells really good. So I think it was a cashmere vanilla type scent. This is beautiful. Loved it. Probably would repurchase that. Um, okay, another deodorant. Wait, we have another one. Okay, we got through another deodorant. And I wonder if my daughter finished this one. Or maybe, I don't know. Sometimes we share these deodorants. Anyway, we got through a blue one. Um, this is from March. I forgot to put this in. Finished those up. 
these are really nice, smell really good. Honestly, I, I like the smell of these, probably wouldn't repurchase those. But I got those on like a body day sale. Um, oh, there was just a tad bit left of the Boom Dia Bright. So we finished that up. And I have another, like a smaller one of these. Um, and you know, I really like this, but lately when I've been smelling it, I almost smell like a tobacco smell, which is interesting, but it's very plum woody scent. I like it more for the fall, but I did want to use that up. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to decipher stuff here. Okay. So got through some face wipes. Um, actually I, I do like face wipes. I will repurchase. I know, but I am taking a little bit of a break from them currently. Um, uh, we'll back to that. Okay. So the dream, the pure wonder. Okay. So here's the line, but it was actually upside down. So there was just this much left of this and we got that finished. This was fine. Um, probably don't need it. I have it in, it does smell really good. It smells really good. Um, but I have it in a body spray, so I think I'm good. Okay, so this I didn't have to use up, but uh, I did. So we have a Nexus uh, Clean and Pure. I think it might be a clarifying shampoo, possibly. Um, but I have a I had purchased a big bottle, or I had some. I was at CVS and I had some. I don't know CVS cash or whatever. And so, in order to get like a big bottle of this, like twenty or thirty ounce for free, I just had to spend like five dollars, I think. And I think this was like five dollars, so I purchased this and then got the big bottle for free. So that's why I have this. And that was like, meh, take it or leave it. Okay, I gotta hurry here. Um, let's see. Okay, we got a new dishwasher. These were some packages that came with it. We got these used up. It's fine. Um, bought some new razors. Um, and it's funny because these say that they're scented vanilla and berries. Why I need a scented razor, I have no idea. And I couldn't smell it ever. So, no idea on that. But I do like those razors. Would repurchase. Um, okay, got through an elf, like the wow brow, like tinted brow in the shade. A neutral brown. This is fine. I'm actually using some different ones now, but I have repurchased this multiple times. Okay, so I do want to say I have. Oh, where's. The... Okay, here. No, wait. Okay, so. We'll start with the ones I have on. These I have on. I don't know that I like the glittery one with it. It's kind of hard to focus. Uh, but anyway, that's what they look like. Um, so here's my problem. On my pinky, I usually wear like the 10s fit the best. And then the 11s, I can make work for like a second set. Um, however, in this box, there was only one 10. So I have the 11s on now. And I don't know, so I'll see what I can do to make this work again, but I'm definitely gonna save it. And then this set is a very, oops, similar. Ooh, I should have put one of these on. Well, wait, actually none of these will fit. So I only got to wear one. Oh, and then let's see. Okay, these I purchased at Walmart and the name is Lavender Whisper. And then these I purchased at TJ Maxx for $4.99. And this tag says Ice Queen or Ice Queen. Um, anyway, the Magic Press seem to be bigger. Like if I don't buy the petite, they're actually like their zeros are too big because with Impress, I can put zeros on my thumbs. And then the next time I wear them, I can put the ones on my thumbs. And then I can never get used out of the twos, threes, or fours. Um, but anyway, the zeros on these are just way too big. So I had to use the ones and then they're still pretty big. So just one wear out of these. But the day that I, like one of the days that I had on these on, five different people commented me on how much they liked these. So I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, but yeah, really similar kind of to what I do like the like, oops, the stripes. It's hard to see it, but there's like, stripes in that but anyway so these are done we're gonna trash those and then 
These are the only four of this one that I didn't get used. Apparently I had worn a set out of this box before, so this was my second set of wearing these. So these are done. And then these I think are also done. Oh yes, same thing. Okay, sorry, I had a moment to think. Magic Press, same thing. I can only get, I don't, I think these other ones are just too big. And I got these at TJ Maxx for $4.99. And these ones don't say the name of them. I don't see the name on these ones. Anyway, these are, I think these are done. I'm going to set these out. I don't know if these are done or not. We're going to, I'm going to look through those ones. And then these, so I got both of these, I think, yes, at Walmart for $3. Um, I'm going to just try to declutter these because I'm just going, trying to get through all my old nails. They just, I don't know. It's hard to pick the labels off at work and I just want to try different stuff with my nails. So um, anyway, yes, I'm going to declutter these. So we'll find a home for those. And then, oh, I don't know where the tag is. Oh wait, okay, here's this. <laughs> okay, so this is an eyeshadow, which I kind of showed, I think, in my last one. And then I actually ended up going through and getting all the stuff that was that was stuck to the sides. That's just like a little bit of excess powder. But um, anyway, this is Pop Goes the Shadow by Elizabeth Malt. And it's in the shade, shade Champagne, and I love this color. And I just want to say that if anyone has a good recommendation for a good champagne color, I love these just one pot, like one single. Like, I like these better than a big palette. I'm just, I normally just throw on one shade and I'm done. Right now, I have on one shade from the Maybelline, which you'll see in the next video that I post after this. Um, anyway, yeah. I need another good champagne color because this one's gone. And in my, um, the one big palette that I do have, I feel like the shade, the shades turn more golden and I want golden. I want champagne. And then this, I cannot find the little tag to, but I believe it was amethyst. And this is a very unique scent. Like it's very, very unique, pretty and unique. So yeah, I could probably repurchase that. See me repurchasing that. And then I will say um, on this hand soap, this is the Pineapple Prosecco. There is a tiny bit left in there and I'm gonna keep that out because I will get this used up today. And today is April 26th, by the way. So um, yeah, doing this a little early, but I have time to do it, kind of, sorta. I gotta hurry. Um, and then let's see, we have, so here's the, um, the pocket back hand sanitizer I was using. So I actually, I'm going to mark that later because it's too hard to mark like right here. Anyway, that's going to be used up in May. You'll see that in the video that I've already filmed. And okay. On this hand soap, this is the Wild Peony from Scent Theory and the notes are Sweetbriar Rose, Wild Peony, and Raspberry Puree. Um, we got to this point and um, my daughter and I, we did not like this. I don't know, it just made my stomach upset. I don't know, I didn't like it. So I'm gonna see if my mom likes it and give that to her if she wants that. So we're gonna set that out. And then um, on the hand cream, on the Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy, I think I got to like right here. So we'll save that. Um, okay, so on the Boardwalk Taffy, we are, which the notes are sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. I'll go ahead and mark this. So I used this a couple of times, but mostly my daughter's using this. So that's marked and she's just gonna keep on working on that. Um, and the reason that she's using it is because I still had, like I'll just show it, some of my, I just keep this in here and then close it up and keep it in the shower. Um, but I, it's kind of broken half, but I still have this spearmint, the eucalyptus and spearmint bar soap. So I've been working on this and then I'm just gonna finish this up and then you'll see in my next video that I'm gonna be using another bar soap. So, but I'll finish this up and then I'll start that one. 
And then, okay, we have, let's see. Um, so on my poppy whipped body butter, which is fresh morning dew, wild poppies, sugar rhubarb, and juicy pear. I only use this, I think, twice. So that's where we're at on that. It's almost gone. But honestly, I really like this. And then, um, let's see. So I do want to mention, okay, so on no, did not use this at all. So no progress on the lotion. And then on the shower gel, um, I only got a little bit and I do have this little scale here and I had talked about this in the video I already filmed for May, but when I filmed the April one, I thought we were getting ripped off because you could see the product down here. Like you can see it right here. Um, but the product I believe settles. So this is an eight ounce bottle. And when I weighed it before I ever used it, it weighed over eight ounces, which would have been because of packaging. Um, so let's see what it weighs now, just out of curiosity. I think I used this twice. So we'll turn it on and let's see. So it weighs 8.4 and that's using it a couple times. So I think they're being pretty fair with that. Now, the new ones that I just weighed for March weighed upwards of like nine, and I don't know that this weighed quite that much, so maybe there was slightly a little bit of product out of it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, there's that. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna keep on going here. Um, okay, so we have, here's the fine fragrance mist, just a little dent in that. Like I only used it like twice as well. And the Fallen Bloom is like right here. A little use on that. I feel like I use that a lot. This I felt like I used a lot. It is like right here. The Kaleidoscope. Um, and then this set I did not use at all. This is the Confetti Daydream. And the notes are fresh raspberries, sparkling pear, and blue iris. I did not get to this. I'm actually debating. Um, a girl I work with just recently found out that she has cancer. And we are doing a benefit for her. And so we're doing silent auctions. And like we all set up different baskets. And then I had um, marked that I would do body care slash home fragrance basket. So, I mean, it's not till the end of June and I know we're going to have semi-annual sale again. So I might be able to pick up new stuff at the semi-annual sale. But I also think that this would be a really pretty scent that someone would like. I have three of these. I only have this one um, spray. Excuse me. But um, I have so much stuff. It's, it's fine. And I can always pair this with a perfume or whatever. So I might do a set of this for that basket. We'll see. So I don't really want to spray it or mess with it right now. Um, and then the Pure Wonder, it only had, the lotion only had like one or two uses left in it. So this only got sprayed just a couple times. And then this was not in my project, but I want to talk about it. So this is the Outset Moisturizer. I had gotten, so when I, uh, let's see, when was it? It was like the beginning of 23. I think it was like January or February from a Sephora order. I got a little sample of this. I felt like it made my face really glow. Actually, I forgot about it. I put it in my travel stuff, like I typically do for a moisturizer. And then in December, when my daughter and I did the hot chocolate run and I stayed with a friend of mine that lives in Missouri, um, like I was using that and I was like, oh, this makes my face like real glowy and I felt like, you know, looked real nice. So I went ahead and purchased this, but with using it consistently, I felt like it was giving me acne. So I've taken a break from it and I don't know, like I don't, one, the Sephora near me does not carry this in store. This I had to purchase online. Um, so I don't know if I went to like St. Louis, if I could take this back, but then the dry, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I might just either, when I first got it, I was just using it here and there. And then like mm, a month or so ago, maybe two months ago, I was using it like every day or every night. Um, and then I was noticing a lot of acne, which I think the video that I did the 
Bath and Body Works haul in recently for those body sprays and stuff, I had some acne and that was, and then I stopped using it and my face cleared up. Like I went back to using my other one. So I don't know if I start using it again. I mean, I'm not going to repurchase it. I'm just going to stick with my CeraVe. It's like a tried and true. And this was $50. I'm not, I don't want to pay $50 to get acne when I pay 17 with CeraVe and my face looks great. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else has tried this, but it feels really nice. And I felt like the sample made my face look better than this one. But anyway, I don't know if that's just me or not. Okay, so that's kind of like the body care stuff. And if that's all you're here for, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And then we have some like, oh, well, I have candle. I have a lavender marshmallow candle. Oh, I have another. Oh, my other candle's over there. <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead. You know what? Let me just get it. Okay, really got to hurry. I got to like whiz through this. Okay, so we have the lavender marshmallow with notes of Fluffy marshmallow touch. Oh, so it's got like a little mark right here. I think that says touch of lavender, fresh vanilla bean, and that's it. And so this was beautiful. This is really good. We liked it. Uh, I could see me maybe purchasing that again. Ooh. And then the other candle I had was this uh, French baguette, and the notes are slow rising dough, crispy dust, and a pat of butter. I said crispy dust, but I meant crust. <laughs> oh, you know, this kind of reminds me of the popcorn candle slightly. Yeah, slightly. Anyway, um, that's where I'm at on that. So like right here. So I'll save that one. And then let's see, we're gonna try to fly through all this. So I have a little sample of Luna and it was like really old and green, but Luna's really pretty. I have more of it. And then, I, oh my gosh, I am so crazy. Like I have, I had to go grab more stuff here in a minute. So let's see. Um, okay, we have Dream Cloud. And it says walking on air. And I thought this smelled like, you know, like Baccarat or Ariana Grande. Um, when I had it in the warmers, could not smell it. In the in the packaging, it smells really good. Could not smell it in the warmers. Uh, we have Atlantic Air, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But however, it went for like three days. And like as it started mellowing, mellowing out, my house just smelled so clean. So I don't know. I might actually repurchase that one. Um, from Sassy Girl, we have Adam's Beach Party, which is Strawberry Pound Cake and Beach Nights. That's gone. And then, let's see, we got through Pretzel from L3 Waxy Wonders. We got through this pink mandarin from, let's, mandarin orange and pink sugar. These I couldn't really smell. They were old. Uh, Atomic Cat, couldn't really smell it. Um, oh, this is from Scentsy. This was the Cotton Candy Trails. I had like three or four cubes of it. it smelled really good. Um, we have like a used thing here. I have a bunch of these. And then this one was like leaking. This is the Kukui and Coconut. And so it's gone. And then I'll be right back. Okay, finally have everything. So let's see. From Sassy Girl, we have Everyone Wins. I'm not gonna read description notes because I have like five minutes and I gotta get out of here. Um, so didn't get through that. Didn't get through Walmart um, strawberry waffle cone. Didn't get through the flowering pink pineapple or the illusion or the pink berry freesia or from Scentsy vitamin unwind or pink coconut. Uh, the pink sugarberry mint, we have four left. Um, Starburst sky, we have six left. Luna didn't get to it. Pacific Mist didn't get to it. Clothesline didn't get to it. Frosted Vanilla, brand new. And then we have Monsters Inc. and Stitch 626. I feel like I was working so hard on the candles that, yeah, I mean, I did get through some wax, but yeah. So this will just all get put back. And then um, my May video is up and, well, will be posted right after this. So um thanks for watching i hope you guys had a great day and if you like it give it a like or and send me a comment of home fragrance body care whatever you are using for 
or what you did use this month, what you're using next month. But yeah, gotta go. Bye.